Hey ladies and gents, this is Izdawiz here with a review of Mythic Legions figure uh, Faustia. Um, and this is from Four Horsemen Toy Design. Um, I'm going to start out by reading the bio for you. It says, Although the army of Leodiceus is considered the military... Time for some new glasses. <laughs> Let's try this again. Although the army of Leodiceus is considered the military arm of the Legions of Light, they appreciate the importance of the clerics and mages within their ranks. Faustia is the army's chief cleric and a close advisor to Attila Leosar. While most clerics try to find a balance between magic and the sword, Faustia's unusually fierce demeanor befits the army of Leodiceus. Faustia's unique style of combatic magic makes her a deadly and trusted ally to Attila and his cause. So there she is, um, Faustia. Uh, and the thing about her, which uh, also makes her fit in with um, Leo Odysseus, is that she is resplendent in her golden armor, gold and red. And she just looks absolutely magnificent. The colors and the paint, the metallic paint really really pop so she's not going to get overshadowed by Leo Odysseus which is you know the head of that army and a guy who has a golden lion head on top of his uh, noggin um, so she is um, a lot a lot of people have talked about her being uh, the embodiment of Little Red Riding Hood um, I kind of like that comparison but she's uh, she's got a lion on her on her crest. She's part of the army of Leodiceus, and um, she's no um, she's not going to have any problems with wolves trying to eat her grandma and, and eat her as well. So um, one of the things I like about this figure is that uh, to me she bears a, a resemblance to Kelly LeBrock, which is my celebrity crush. Back from the 80s when I watched her in Weird Science. And I I, I tell you, Kelly LeBrock is... is uh, I, I single-handedly credit her from turning me from a boy into a man. So, because puberty wasn't really qu kicking in. <laughs> but, but I saw Weird Science and she was in that. And she was beautiful. And that did the trick, I think. She's also remembered for her commercials where she is... Uh, you know, where, where, where she talk, she says, don't hate me for being beautiful or don't hate me for being beautiful or whatever her accent is. But um, she's she was definitely one of the most beautiful women of the 80s. And why am I going on about her? I don't know. Maybe I'm a little a little obsessed. Um, but saying some people are going to say, hey, this is Mythic Legions. What does that have to do with Kelly LeBrock? It doesn't have anything to do with it. But once in a while, there'll be a likeness that reminds me of a celebrity. Because, I mean, can you t honestly tell me that um, this guy from um, uh, Masters of the Universe Classics doesn't look like Val Kilmer? <laughs> Isn't a little reminiscent of uh, prime Val Kilmer, the guy that uh, we all loved in... in his early movies. Um, so, okay, it's not Kelly LeBrock. But for me, she's going to be Kelly LeBrock. I don't know if you guys saw this, but I made a kit bash. So this guy is is my likeness now. It's a Roberto, Roberto Duran head, and I used a Sharpie to paint a goatee. So this is me, and I'm going to have uh, romantic dates with... Uh, Faustia, yeah, I mean, uh, K Kelly LeBrock, and uh, I think we're going to have a good time together. So you guys uh, play with your action figures the way you want. I'll play with them the way I want. So anyway, Faustia, yeah, let me take her out from behind this romantic table 
and I'll put her through her paces and show you what she looks like. All right. Um, she comes with lots of accessories. I took her loincloth off so I could fit her in uh, so she could sit behind that picnic table. Let me put that, pop that back on. Miss LeBron, I mean, uh, Faustia. Um, there we go. And there she is. Pretty awesome, huh? She um, has an exquisitely painted armor. And it's a great um, paint job. Very reminiscent of all the other Mythic Legions. So this is no different. And it, of course, does not disappoint. She's got this nice cloth goods cape. Um, which, you know, matches with the hood and kind of gives her that little red riding hood look that I uh, had talked about earlier. Um, you can see that the, the red, everything in here is painted beautifully. You can see the, the tiny little um, buckles and the leather and the rivets um, everywhere. Uh, really, really nice job. Look at the little um, rivets on the pauldrons and stuff. And everywhere um, beautiful job painting um, I of course love the likeness so uh, hopefully the lighting is good enough for you to see her there but she's beautiful we can't I guess somebody could probably take the hood off but I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that <coughs> sorry I apologize I have some kind of virus uh, <coughs> hopefully not corona but um, this is her sword, and it's interesting because it has that sort of double hilt action there. So um, it's 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 nice and big and oversized, but it fits nicely in her hand, and I think gives her, you know, a little extra style because this is someone who is obviously um, not to be trifled with, right? And she's got this. Um, what is this? This is a mace. A gold mace ball uh, on top of a staff so she's got this bonking stick um, so she can bonk you at long range and she has a really really cool um, very cool shield so um, now that I, I noticed that there's a little bit of extraneous paint there on this inside red Either that or there was, um, it, it looks like some just extraneous silver paint, but um, it's, it's scraping off. So it's, you know, something that's easily taken care of and it will easily scrape off. Um, yeah, there it goes. It's coming off. I thought I had a paint defect, but I don't know how that silver paint got on there um, because these are generally so flawless, but that's no big deal. And even if there's a tiny remnant of that, I'll just take a red Sharpie and, and paint that. But um, she looks great. Um, she looks ready to um, go camping and uh, hang out by the campfire and have a you know long romantic dinner on this uh, park bench, and uh, you know maybe join the custom Isdwas <laughs> later on in the sleeping bag. So <laughs> sorry guys, I I uh, digress as well. This is the alternate head for her, so you can pose her with this head. Or um, this head, which we've seen before, but that would also be a cool way to sort of army build. I'm not going to, okay, anyway, I'll just give you an idea what that looks like. Normally, I, I would take the neck out and, and I would put it in there so that you guys could see what it looks like with the neck. But I'm, you know, kind of under the weather today. Oops. Sorry, Faust. Yeah, I'm kind of under the weather today, so I don't. I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. Just don't just don't feel that great. Um 
how how did why did it take so long for me to um to review Faustia? She kind of slipped through the cracks a little bit. So uh, I don't I'm not sure I'm not sure what happened, but uh, I've had her for a while and. Um, so I didn't review her right away because it's it's going to be a wait until we get the next round of figures, which um, have been pre-ordered. I don't know if there's going to be delays because of the factories in China and what's going on with coronavirus and the fact that they've actually shut down factories. I don't know what how that's affecting the Four Horsemen, but hopefully, um, you know, this whole thing blows over and everything gets back on schedule and you know the mythic legions and they keep the mythic legions coming because um Fausti is a great great figure uh somewhat reminiscent of kind of like the red version of Ravenna which is kind of the blue version of of um a fighter with with these pauldrons and with the hood and everything um so it's been a while since my, my last review. It's, I think it's been like a month, but um, I'm hanging in there. Uh, I got, uh, hopefully, I have like a low grade sort of cold or something that's affecting me. It's not uh, something that's really severe, but um, I've been quarantining myself anyway, uh, just in case. So, Folks, uh, sorry about all the digressions, and um, and uh, this is this is Faustia. Uh, she'll be near and dear to my heart because it re I remind me of the time I actually met Kelly LeBrock at Comic Con. She was sitting there at the table, shilling her book, and I was absolutely tongue tied, um, like I'd never been before. Because getting to see her from afar, and and then uh, the thought of going and actually talking to her in person just turned me into like a 12 year old kid again. <laughs> I didn't know what to say. I had to call one of my friends and say, Hey, uh, Kelly LeBrock is here. And I, I'm totally star Trek, star struck and tongue tied. What should I say? And he told me a few things to go up and say, which uh, were highly inappropriate. Um, and, and I didn't do that, but I did go up to talk to her. She was really super nice. Uh, um, you know, she talked about everything, including her, her uh, book and uh, she's a little hung up on uh, Steven Seagal I think but but very very nice um, and she looks great a few more pounds on her she did go to the celebrity fat camp and everything but I think she looks um, absolutely ravishing and hey I'm not as skinny as I was in the 80s but um, anyway <laughs> sorry guys this is way too much Kelly LeBrock and not enough mythic legions uh, is the whiz signing out before I even make even more of a fool of myself.